In this demonstration, I'll show you how easy it is to create a new virtual server or vServer on your Exologic machine. First, let's log into the Exologic Control browser interface as an existing cloud user that has been granted access to at least one cloud account. Before creating the vServer, confirm that you have enough resources available in your account. vServers require CPUs, memory, and storage. Launch the Create vServer wizard. Supply a name for your vServer. For convenience, you can also create several similar vServers at one time, but for this demonstration, we'll simply create one. vServers are created from a template, which includes the guest Oracle Linux installation. Either use the default base template or a custom one that your organization has created. Select a type which defines how many virtual CPUs and how much RAM is allocated to this vServer. There are some default types and your cloud administrator can also define additional ones. We will not attach any storage volumes to this vServer at this time, but we can do so later after the vServer is created. Next, decide which virtual networks this vServer will join. If the vServer requires external access, select a public E over IB network. Similarly, if the vServer requires direct access to the Exologic storage appliance, select the public shared storage network. For each selected network, you can choose to either assign an IP address to the vServer manually or automatically. After a few minutes, verify that your new vServer is running in this account. Use the Dashboard tab to view its status, as well as its relationships to other networks and accounts. In order to access and use the vServer, identify the IP addresses that were automatically assigned to it. Finally, let's connect to our new vServer using the external network and then attempt to mount an NFS share using the shared storage network. 